Good afternoon all. So if you're into 3D printing and your file explorer doesn't look like this when you're trying to find an SDL file, you're in the right place, so stay tuned. So I find this screen absolutely invaluable and it doesn't come as standard on a Windows computer. You have to load in a couple of applications. The first one you'll find in the App Store. So if you go to Start Menu and click uh, App Store, bring it up. You may have it already installed, but we're just checking for those that haven't. It generally comes installed as part of Windows 10, I believe. So now where do we go? Up here. We go up here. 3D Viewer. Oh, spell it right. <laughs> 3D Viewer. So this is the one you want with the, the blue background, the white square. Now I've got it installed, so it will say install, it's free one, so yes, just open it, in my case. So you'll get a screen like this, that means it's, it's working. So now we can close that out, and we can close the store. Now your screen won't look like this, so let's go back to view details. So what you need to do now is right click and ignoring this, this screen over here, because um, you won't have that. So you need to click on the STL file and then open with and choose your CNOW 3D viewer will be there. And that will pop up again. Now it's still not there because we're in file mode. So if you now go large icon, it will be there. And if it's still not there, what you can do is click on an STL, then go to properties. And if you've got something not saying 3D viewer here, I had 3D builder, you can click on change and you would click down here on 3D viewer, but it's already there. So I'm gonna say, okay. So yes, it's still there. I'm going to say cancel because I've already done it. So that's that's going to get this right hand panel up. Now what we need to do is get these really lovely thumbnails viewing because what you'll still get, you'll still have a view similar to similar to this. You won't get any thumbnails. So it will you'll just get the icons without the thumbnails. So I'm going to put this back because I, I do like the visual representation. So this is the website you need to go to, and I'll put the link in the description Thank below you. so you can just click on it. Um, what I liked about this, there are a few other uh, thumbnail um, viewers that I found, but they weren't sort of open source. Now, if you was, if you was a, a clever person, you could look through the code and make sure you know it's not doing anything in the background that you're not happy with. But it's very simple to get this installed. If you're on Windows, Linux, or Arch, whatever that, Debian, it all works in there. So I'm a Windows guy. So I clicked on Windows installer. And then I went down and downloaded the latest one. Clicked on the EXE file. Now it's not signed by Microsoft, so you will get this warning. So you click on more information and run anyway. Now I'm not gonna do that because I've got it installed already and you can see I've downloaded it a few times here because the number two is in brackets. So I'm just gonna close out of that. Um, just click on it, it installs. And if it doesn't do anything, the first thing you want to try doing because it should do it all in the background is if I could just go back to here, if you've got your view set on details, don't expect the little thumbnails to appear in these boxes here on the left hand side because there's not enough room to do it. You need to go on the on the icon setting, if I make it the large icons, and then the icons will appear. Now if they don't, it does tell you on the web page, uh, if we go back, 
he says that it does uh, the, the window shell should refresh all the thumbnails for you but if it doesn't you need to use the cleanup utility so that is a standard windows utility so if you go back to your c drive right click properties clean up you'll get a list of things it's going to do and one of them is thumbnails so if you need to do that do click ok it will delete them all it will rebuild them all and then you'll get a if i go back to 3d objects so that's previewing all your 3d files and if you click on one you'll get the preview on the right hand side and now this one i can't drag and round because it's a three uh, three mf file but if i was looking at stl files in the window i'm using my middle mouse button to to zoom left mouse button to click and rotate um but once you're zoomed in you know you're zoomed in um you can make this panel bigger to look at it um but yeah what a fantastic addition if you're into your 3d printing thank um, you so i hope you guys never lose an stl file again because that there's ways of obviously you can search for them and now you can see them and what just out of interest these files here are something i've just downloaded it's an open source um open source uh, file for a astrophotography mount and this one here only just fits on a modified ender 5 plus bed you need 370 by 350 that part is so you need to modify your ender 5 plus which i've done so i'm all ready to go just got orders from filament do a couple of test prints oh yes yeah, so i haven't downloaded the test print um and then get going so guys I'm, I'm gonna bid you a good afternoon hopefully you've liked the video give us a thumbs up if you ask it does help the channel and let me know if it, if it works for you in the comments below i think this is a fantastic addition to in my case windows and i it's very very well laid out so enjoy good afternoon for now